Hi, my name is Extreme No. I'm unlocking the world of RuneScape one chunk at a time. To progress, I need to complete every single thing there is to do in my current chunks. Join me as we take on grinds the way they were never intended. Hi and welcome to episode 5 of the Extreme Gnome One Chunk series. In the last episode, we've got new best of slot items like the Red Cape and the Iron Fool Helm. Also from Hill Giants, we got Spooned on the Curve Bone, allowing us to roll a total of 14 chunks in one day. Now, will this repeat itself this episode? We'll see, but for now, we are stuck at the Moss Giants. As a reminder, from this chunk, we need to get the following chunk goals. We need to get level 55 magic to cast high level alchemy with the runes we get from Moss Giants. We have to get a Steel Medium Helm, a Mithril Spear, and a Magic Staff as best in slot items, and also a Mossy Key for the Collection Log. Let's get started! Starting it off with the first item, a Mithril Spear, easy as that. Followed swiftly by a Steel Med Helm, these items come in pretty quickly, they have a low drop rate. And there's our first Mossy Key for the Collection Log, let's see how many we get from this grind. And there is the first range level of this chunk, level 50 ranged, a lot more to go. If we get 10 crafting, we can now wield a magic bow. But well, that is a long way away yet. Here's a nice shield, a black square shield. It's a bit better than the magic shields, but not that much better. And there is the magic staff, allowing us to cast spells on auto, which is super helpful for this jungle. Let's tick off those easy tasks. Now the only one remaining is 55 magic. On estimate, it should take around 16,000 Moss Giant kills. And there is a first farming level, level 16. With our newfound spade, we can finally train farming in a decent way. And a lamp, we're gonna start lamping crafting in hopes to getting to level 10 so we can make our magic shortbow, which can spin some flax for a bowstring. And this is going to be our first magic level of the grind, casting some airstrike on a goblin. There it is, level 2 magic, and there we have level 17 farming. Another farming level, level 19, skipping a few levels with these oak trees, it's going pretty fast. And we get a mystery box from a quiz master, let's see what we get from this one, maybe we can get the dragon spear? Nope, eats the cabbage, unfortunately. There's 46 prayer for retribution, and 70 hit points at the hill giants, nice round level. We got level 3 magic, we are all out of mind runes, but we can now start using curse spells with the drops we get from goblins. Also using up some cosmic and water runes to make some rings of recoil and there is a level 10 magic. Another farming level, that is level 20. We can now grow sweet corn. Sweet. And this is our melee gear, look at this chad. And that is level 21 farming, we can now grow Crandorian hops. Going back to the hill giants for a bit to get 70 defense, there is level 69 and 47 prayer together with 86 combat. And that is level 17 magic, unlocking wind bolts, so we can use our chaos runes. And we're gonna buy in some bronze bolts and a crossbow. I started using bolts and a crossbow in the beginning because of the bigger range bonus, but eventually I switched over to the short bow and bronze arrows, because they shoot faster and the XP per hour is a lot higher. There we go, another farming level, level 23. We can now grow scarecrows, we can double oak roots. And that is level 24 farming, you can also see 55 ranged in the chat box a bit earlier. 25 farming, only 2 left for apple trees. And that is 26 farming, just one more left and then we can double our XP. There is level 60 ranged, we can now wear red dehyde and also 800 total. Another magic level, that is level 20, a nice little milestone. And there is 21 magic, we can now cast lower level alchemy, using up some of our nature and fire runes on the oak longbows. Those longbows have been waiting quite a while to get out. And that is 29 magic, we can now cast earth bolt, which will be our main matter of trading until we get to level 53. Another farming level, that is level 27, we can now grow apple trees, this will boost our farming XP quite a bit. And there we go, our first apple seedling, 
or sapling or whatever you want to call it in the grounds. Another fishing random for a level 30 fishing. We will now stop using these randoms until we get 50 magic in the hopes of getting some free magic experience. And there we go, that is level 70 defense on the hill giants. Now nice based 70 melee stats. Looks quite nice I must say. There we go, that is level 28 farming. Our first apple sapling didn't die on us. Sweet. Using some low level alchemy, that is 30 magic. We can now use Briar Staff, look at that. And level 30 farming, and you already know what time it is. Thank you so much for the bond, Mr. Divine 2K. I appreciate that very much. You always use two weeks of membership. And if you're gonna watch the series, please watch it in order so you don't get spoiled while you're looking for me. <laughs> and that is going to be the last range level of this junk level 87 ranged. I'm going to put all the loot from the Moss Giants on the screen right now so you can take a look for yourself. As predicted, it took around 16k Moss Giant kills, about 800 kills disappeared from the loot tracker, no idea how or why, but here is the total loot. The way we trained magic was using Earth Bolt all the way to 53, and then we started using Earth Blast, and in between, once we got air and low wind drops together, we also used Tenantic Grab to train our magic up. Alright, after almost two months of killing Moss Giants, we are 19 XP away from 55 magic. Oh shit, I forgot. I don't have a fucking fire rune. <laughs> I have to go kill hill giants to do the high alchemy. Oh god, we're milking it. Alright, let's get this over with. And we splash. Of course we fucking splash. Die, you chicken child. But there it is, 55 magic. And now the best one of all. We have to go kill a hill giant for some fire runes. <laughs> don't have freaking fire runes. Thanks for coming, guys. Alright, let's go kill some wild giants. <laughs> I don't have a fire rune. Come on, man. Alright, I'm not gonna pick up a single more big bone until we get the fire runes. <laughs> Alright, boys. It's time. Alright. On the crossbow, because screw this crossbow. We're never using it again. Here we go, high level alchemy. There we go, chunk complete. All right, all chunkles are completed. We have cast high level alchemy and it's time for all the chunk. All right, let's quickly go over it. Um, free chunks. This one is also free, but also a good hunter training method. Uh, 90 mining, free chunk, 99 range and 99 woodcutting. Free chunk, free chunk. 
All right. Are we ready for the chunk roll? Man, I am so freaking nervous. <laughs> All right, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Baxorian Falls. No grinds, I think. Yeah, no current jobs, but let's just go over there in game. Let's make our way over there. Here we go, that is unrolled. Now, the thing about this chunk is... If we walk into this, you'll see you think, oh, Asian Cavern, blah blah blah, you have to do all that. There's a few prerequisites for that. Alright, let's roll this chunk, walk in, walk in, walk in, where's the line? There we go, Voyage chunk... Is... Unlocked. Voyage chunk, Voyage music track. Um... I cannot go, even if um, the, the pathway was not blocked, I would not be able to go into the, into the ancient cavern, because you need 35 fire making for that, and I do not have a tinderbox on me, and no way to train fire making. Um, Alright. I'm not going to start waterfall quests, because I'm only going to do quests if I can complete them, or if they like give me something uh, of use. But yeah, here's the thing, as you can see, this chunk right here, We've got this uh, pyre side, and we cannot walk across this, so this entire part of the chunk is uh, blocked off for us. So yeah, um, we're gonna roll again. Here we go again. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, that's free real estate. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. That's uh, free real estate. There's no uh, new grinds there, I think. Yeah, no current chests. We're not gonna walk all the way over there. Just gonna update that on the map. Alright, third roll of the day. <laughs> Go for What I would like is just roll three and then straight east. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Oh god, it's 90 mining time! Oh! And there we go, the whole list of chunks. Whew, whole, whole list of chunks, a whole list of tasks. Alright, so, um... We have a furnace here, so that's 50 smithing. Let's also recharge our prayer. Alright, I'm gonna try something. It's gonna look weird on the camera, but I'm gonna try to... Hang this in front of my window. This fell off a while ago. I just didn't get around to adding it. <laughs> it's gonna look so fucking weird. <laughs> uh, oops, there we go. Alright, that should block at least my face a bit. <laughs> Almost died. Hey, easy task completed. Sweet. Easy as that. And this is the reason for 90 mining. GG. Alright, well, you got balls of wool. I've got more. Oh, we actually got more bronze arrows here. That's sweet. Some rope. You know what? Let's just, let's just buy some rope. We've got vial packs as well. Pretty nice. And of course, our tender box. How could I forget? This easy task as well. In short, pets. Giant squirrel. That's an easy task done as well. Alright, so we've got monkeys. Can we kill those? I don't know. Oh, there's a few killables in there. We've got wolves, we got a cyclops, the same drop rate drop table as a hill giant, so nothing to do there. Scorpions, camels, a joker that has nothing new on the drop table. Ping wings. And Larry. Alright, first thing on the agenda is uh Getting our magic short bow, actually. Let's uh, get the pickaxe out. Man, is this a long conversation every time? Alright, at least we can take the boat. And where are we? At the mining spot! Look at that! Beautiful. Alright, let's mine some clay. To get some soft clay and then get our level 10 crafting. Hey, there we go. Level 2 mining, the first mining level on the account. Only 89 to go. <laughs> I mean, 88, technically. 
All right, one more. And there we go, that is level 10 crafting, which means we can now make bowstrings. Which also means we can now make a magic sword bow. Please have two magic logs stacked. Magic logs, magic logs. Oh, we've got four, look at that. All right, let's put that in there. All right, this is a big moment. This is a big moment, guys. Big. Actually, I'll just make two. We have our first magic sword bar. There we go. Look at this, guys. Magic sword bow. And that's it for this episode. We unlocked the magic sword bow, which is quite a best in slot upgrade. So we can now train ranged a bit more reliably. Now, as a reminder for our jungles, we have 75 fire making to burn a magic log, 50 smithing to smelt a mithril bar, 75 thieving to pickpocket a gnome, 19 crafting for an unfired ball or pot or plant pot, whatever it was, 90 mining to mine a tier 9 shooting star. It's gonna be a lot of fun with the bronze pickaxe. And finally, we also have to complete the quest Sheep Herder. That was it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it quite a bit, and I will see you all in the next one. No, out.